anything. We have seen many come and go, many come and try, many come give babies, many come and what, but then looks like Sandra has really decided to say, you know, we are me and you till death do us part. All this is speaking, when the sources told us that these guys are planning a lavish wedding, I was like, wow, this is something we've all been waiting for. And apparently it's what's gonna happen in Rwanda because you all know Sandra Teta is from Rwanda. She actually won Miss Rwanda some time back, I remember. And then in there, she's actually been back and forth, Rwanda, Uganda, but then she got to realize Uganda was more home to her because she felt the whole entitlement of being a socialite just blossomed quite well for her here in Uganda. And that's how she actually met Weasel. But of course, in between there, we've actually seen Weasel also standing out only for her in most cases. Because I remember when he started to start dating her, you could clearly see he was quite different whenever he was around Sandra. So saying that he has chosen her to be the main, to be the one and only, to be everything, then basically we are so happy. Why? Because guys, it's not easy for a man to pick a woman and say, you, I want to spend the rest of my life with. And for a woman to also say, I do. And honestly, for a woman to accept you just the way you are, I must say, Weasel is very lucky to have Sandra because, man, the Sandra women who cannot go for a man who has even one kid just one yeah but now you all know stories about weasel by the way he has kids with so many different women but at the end of the day he still says that his children still takes care of them and now just looking at him coming now strong and stepping the manhood stage of saying i want to be married i want to walk a beautiful woman down the aisle guys we are so happy for this news we're already jubilating we're already saying congratulations and jubilation and because we are celebrating all this, why not? Let's go ahead and jump to one of Weasel Manito's great jobs. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 
Right here on the small ladder as always. And if you have not said cheers, if you have not said Kongs, if you have not stood up for Weasel or these guys, I don't know what you're on, but well, we are so excited for whatever is gonna come from Weasel and his beautiful Sandra. And yes, this is a year for weddings, this is a year for love, this is a year for excitement, this is a year of money. If you have not got it, say amen. This is a year to get that man, to get that baby, to get that job because 2022 is all about blessings and luck well away from that guys let's also dive straight into another media headline and well guess what this time around i'm actually also celebrating another gorgeous diva and of course i'm talking about the one and only judith hart now you all know judith hart is one of those famous who has really stood her ground and showed the world that modeling can take you places modeling can change your life modeling can get you connected modeling can give you every single thing you need in life most times when someone says or looks at someone saying that they are modest they always think at what is saying say you want to handle yes yeah, it work in uganda hey well it looks like judith had is proving all those odds wrong because every single day she is shining every single day she's standing out every single day she's getting a crown she's ready to get a flag higher and higher recently we were celebrating the fact that she became miss environment india and of course in there we're even celebrating her bringing miss elite africa like east africa so basically she is getting all these crowns which is just quite exciting but as i speak right now she has been chosen as the national ambassador for goodwill uh, you know NEMA is one of the biggest organizations we have in the industry you know it's more like government so having her jumping onto it as an ambassador for NEMA or I could say for Uganda's environment is just quite amazing why because ever since she won that Miss Environment we've realized she set up a few one to three ideas like for example she's saying we need to start up planting trees for back cloth making why Uganda is rich we have back cloth why can't we make it national why can't we make other countries fall in love with back cloth why can't we do back cloth clothes so that the world can know about it this is just quite amazing so instead of you just you know planting trees and probably cutting them down for charcoal probably you could cut them down and make more money in the fashion world this is just quite amazing but i, I love the way she's driving this i love where she's going with it and of course i'm already super excited to say congratulations to you judith hard keep rising keep soaring keep doing you we're gonna be right here to give you back up to say how amazing you are and what great job you are doing but of course as she keeps bringing all this Fire, 